I'm not starting the vlog yet. I just wanted to show you the state of my hair. I don't even know what it looks like at the back, but... Okay, I'm gonna go and brush it now. See you in a minute. Oh, that's a nice shadow. I've just popped a wash on and I'm about to make myself some coffee. Look, I've sorted my hair out now. I'm going for the high ponytail type looped over thingy at the moment. I'm not even sure if it's an actual hairstyle, but I'm having it at the moment. I just felt like a change. Coffee's on. We're having a heat wave here in the UK at the moment, which is delightful in my opinion. <laughs> it is an absolute scorcher, I've got to be honest. I don't know how hot it is. I should look on the weather app. It's lovely. It's actually too hot for jeans. Good grief, and I was wearing my overcoat in the park the other day, wasn't I? It's been a bit of a funny week for us really. We're, what, into the third week of the school holidays now? Possibly reaching the end of it. Do you know, I've lost count. Normally I'm very structured, aren't I? Not at the moment though. But we need it sometimes. We need to just blob out a bit. I actually haven't blobbed out. I've been working really, really hard on the Spain vlogs and the vlog vlogs as well. So I actually haven't stopped. In fact, I haven't practiced my flute this week because I've been prioritizing just getting that old footage back up. So yeah. Izzy's been chilling out though, she's been doing a lot of drawing and singing but I think she's just been watching TV on her phone with the red phones on quite a lot as well, just blobbing out and I haven't stopped her, I haven't tried to make her do anything else really, I think she needs a rest, she's worked really really hard this term, fair play. Today is similarly unstructured really, IB is coming at three, I need to go through the bags from my dad, which are up in my room. These ones, which have been sat there since yesterday. I've literally just, before picking this camera up, finished sorting out all the stuff from IB's house. So it's a matter of going through it, seeing what doesn't fit and what does fit, so we're going to reintegrate what does fit into our wardrobe. <laughs> and what doesn't fit, well, it's not all good enough for the charity shop. I have had to bin quite a bit already. Izzy's skin being this good is still relatively new for Izzy and so up until relatively recently all her clothes just got absolutely caked in emollient and so they're just nobody's gonna want them they're absolutely thick with grease. It just builds up and up and up over time and doesn't matter how many times you wash it it just always stays in there. This stuff she's been on, paraffin stuff, she couldn't tolerate any of the creams at all, none of them, not one. She tried so many of the years so she had to just literally have the thick grease but it sprays on this one, she gets it on prescription, it just sprays on and it goes on sterile, you don't rub it in so if they're really sensitive and rubbing sets it off then you don't even have to do that, you just spray it on and leave it. Do the whole body a few times a day. But it wrecks everything, people don't realise that about um, eczema, but that greasy emollient wrecks everything. People don't realise this is a big massive ongoing side effect of serious eczema. They're covered in grease all the time, all their clothes are instantly wrecked, the lovely new dress they bought, as soon as it goes on, pfft, thick with grease all over and it's just going to get worse and worse with everywhere. All the teddy bears get ruined, all the bedding gets ruined, you get a new bit of tech, straight away it's covered in grease, it soaks through the gloves because you know she wears gloves. Anyway, those days are over, they're behind us but spare a thought for the poor people that are still going through it. Oh no, I just smelt a sort of burning coffee smell, I completely forgot I was making coffee because I got carried away. I was literally just going to point the camera at the bags and <laughs> come straight back down again and then I got off on a tangent. <sighs> That's like reflecting my anti-climax now, turning that off. <laughs> oh gosh, it's still boiling and I've turned it off. <laughs> That's how overheated it got. Oh, Probably no caffeine left in there, but that's probably not a bad thing. I'm going to have that coffee and sit at my desk and see if I've got any more Spain videos to do. I think I might have come to the end of them. I might have. We'll see. It's ages later now. I can hardly even see if I'm in shot because it is so bright out there. My app says it's 24 degrees, so for the UK, this is a heat wave. It's lovely. I absolutely love it. We're going out to the park shortly. I'm just going to have a quick bit of lunch. This is such a treat, honestly. Oh, it's dry. <laughs> like, most of the year you put your washing out in the morning and by the evening you need to finish it off on the radiators, you know. <laughs> so lovely, I could get that in. <gasps> oh, look, the sunflower is rotting. <laughs> my dad was out here yesterday examining my uh, specimens 
Oh dear, he said oh, you're going to enter that for a prize. I think it could win a prize, the world's worst sunflower prize. My bean is growing, look. And there, look. But I digress, let's go in. Oh, there's an Izzy. Hello. Are you filming? Well, I'm filming your feet at the moment because I don't want to give away what our house looks like from the Dwicky outside. Feet. Right, I'm going to have some lunch. Oh, I did that vlogger thing that, that when they go, I'm going to have some lunch. I don't know why. That's leftovers from yesterday, so I'm going to do something with it. I might just throw instant mash in with it, to be honest, because we're in a bit of a rush. There, we can see you now. Look at my the... hair's still wet. It's not entirely so wet. Izzy's got Granny's earrings in that Granny used to wear when I was your age. Mm -hmm. And so it's most bizarre to see you uh, taking them over. I like them. They look nice though. Yeah. Mm. Izzy's coming and, out with us and today. So the, the move that I did in the vlog. Oh yeah, we've just been watching the old uh, Spain travel vlogs to so just check they're okay and yeah. Uh, yeah, having a cuteness overload looking at Izzy in her former years. Oh, she was so cute, but she's not cute now, like she doesn't like being cuddled or touched anymore I by your old mum. I'm just not a hugger. No, oh, I can't be for cuddles and cuddles. Oh, look, oh, she doesn't like it. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to get told off in the comments now. I've got potatoes in the cupboard as well. But I didn't plan what I was going to eat. Izzy's only recently had breakfast and isn't hungry. Oh gosh, it's all chaos there. Everything's falling over. That's my apocalypse food. That is instant mash. It keeps, doesn't it? And then if you have an emergency and you can't get out unexpectedly, then we just have instant mash. So the plan is we're going to meet my invisible boyfriend, who is not really invisible. He's just not on camera, but he's called IB for short, invisible boyfriend. Anyway, we're going to meet him at quarter to three in the park and I'm going to have to leave in 30 minutes so I'm literally just heating that up quick and I'm going to have it dolloped on top of instant mash which I'm making now and I'll probably put a bit of cheese in there and some salt and pepper so yeah speed was a priority for today's dinner will I cave in and have an ice cream at the park though that's the question I did last time didn't I well not in the rain but the last time I went with Izzy, I did. I grated some cheese. Now, we had something very similar last night because we had the same thing, but with real mashed potato from real potatoes. And it was absolutely delicious, actually. A massive mountain of mashed potato with that very liquidy tomato-based vegetable concoction. I used to like instant mash on toast with cheese when I was sort of in my early 20s. It was a real carb fest. There it goes. I'm just going to layer it on top. Look, there we are. It's 25 to 2 now and we're going to the park. And yes, I, something itched. I scratched it and it went all red. Whoops. <laughs> I'm sure it'll go down shortly. That food was nice, by the way. I'm going to take some cold cans with us. One for me. One for it. Now, rather annoyingly, I'm getting these little flies in the fruit bowl. Fruit flies, presumably. I did have some peaches that I bought and they were all going mouldy. They hadn't even gone ripe and they were going mouldy and I think it attracted the flies. Right, Gertrude flies. Perhaps I should put a cover over that. Uh, I know what I can do. Shower cap. <laughs> now, being a musician, I get put up in a lot of little hotel rooms and things like that and there's quite often a shower cap, isn't there? And... I have been known to pocket one or two <laughs> over the years because they come in so handy for that sort of thing. We're at the park, we've bombed down at a million miles an hour with my full stomach. There's a very long queue for the ice creams. I don't want one anyway, but Izzy does. It's very long, it's very long. Look how long the queue is, it goes right around there. Izzy has persuaded me somehow to join the queue so that when IB gets here we'll be quite a wait down it. He's probably going to be hungry and I always end up packing mini cheddars and crisps and things just in case. Ten minutes later, we've moved a little bit, not much, still in the queue. IB is here, he was going to get an ice cream but now he's going to get a hot dog instead. Another ten minutes later. Those two have wussed out and they're standing in the shade over there. I'm keeping the place in the queue for them. Mm, apparently they do slushies. I've changed my order from coffee to a slushie. He said, what flavour? I said, blue flavour. I've got a slushie! Yay! You've got no willpower, man. Uh, no. 
I have moved. I realised I was right in the way, sitting on the floor, on the tarmac. I be an Izzyah at a bench here. Look at this trio here. Well, they all looked when I said that. They're eyeing us up. Going behind your bench now. In my bag here next to me, oh, okay. I've got a present. It's a Christmas present from last year and next year combined from my boyfriend. Because last year's one had to go back. There was a problem with it. And uh, I'll tell you what that is later. Well, we had a very long sit down and drank in it. I didn't eat anything, so I'm full of lunch, and we're off on a walk. We are exiting the field and it's going over here. Special where man, you know, it's a special place. Rattlesnakes just sound more exciting. Nearly at the top, Izzy, and you're going to see our special field. Izzy hasn't seen this field yet. Whoa. Here it is. There we are. We might probably have to salute that. Okay. Izzy's attempting a cartwheel. First one in ages. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's still got it. Funsies. Rather than the outside of the train. I mean, you can kind of get on the outside of the train. Alright, well, it's always better to be safe, friends. Right, I'm not going to rush it back, so you can keep it for two weeks or so I'll have a We've said goodbye to my boyfriend now. He's driven off back home. And Izzy reckons her shoes are too small, all of them. So we're going to just pop in the kind of the cheap shoe shop here and see if they have anything. Last time she looked, she didn't like anything, but she's absolutely desperate now, so. We're going to have another try. It's quite dark in here. We're the only ones in the shop. I'm going to need a torch. Yeah. Well, I've got one on my phone. I don't know where they've got the lights off. <laughs> she quite likes these ones. They're a size four. Just kind of having to guess the size, aren't we? I don't suppose they do measuring. I could ask. No, she wasn't keen on that one. I'm going to put them back. I don't know where you've got them from. I don't know. found some she quite likes them. They're quite girly, which like me. Yeah, a little bit of a heel on them, not much. Just a I bit. like it when there's like a tiny heel. Yeah, those are tiny ones, aren't they? Yeah. Got some new got shoes. Some new shoes. She loves them. Yes. I think we might pop into Iceland and buy some veggie sausages and fish fingers because we've run out and there's yes. no queue at this time of day. As he's already put some Welsh cakes in the basket. There's nobody in here. Look, I can get my camcorder out. Excellent. Bee's bought this mask for Isabel. It looks a bit like a beak, though. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm a plague doctor. <laughs> a plague doctor, yeah. yeah. How appropriate. Uh, fish fingers are only a pound a box. 28 for two pound. Eight for one pound. They're cheaper. They weren't as nice. Oh, I'm going to get these. He says, since we're in Iceland, can we get a pizza for tea? And I said, yeah. Why don't we get a four cheese? Yeah, okay. Thin and crispy, and I like thin. And yeah, I prefer the thin and crispy ones too. Uh, that that's pepperoni. Oh, it was it was there. I think Is that four cheeses. Yes. I'm going to get some ice lollies. This is going for the knobbly bobblies. £2 for four. So that's 50p each. Yeah. And I'm going for the cherry cola tornadoes. But I'm going to have to send her home because I need to go to the chemist and they'll just melt otherwise. So I wait for the chemist. Right, this is what I want. The vegetarian section's covered in boxes. Let's just move those off. 
Want some sausages. Crispy nuggets. I can't see any at all. What are you looking for? Veggie sausages. Oh yeah, they're down there. 12 for three quid. Not cheap, is it? Oh uh, well. The last. I think that's it for us. Izzy's just nipped back home with the frozen stuff. I've given her the key and she's got all the frozen stuff in a bag so she's going to take them and put them straight in the freezer and I'm just going to go and queue up outside the chemist to pick up Izzy's prescription. Got it and I'm off home now. We're back and look at my hair. <laughs> That's what it was like under my hat. It's so sweaty. It was wet yesterday evening wasn't it when I came in but it was rain yesterday. It's sweat, human sweat today. How attractive. I've got it everywhere. It's all on my back from where my rucksack was. I won't show you. I'm quite impressed with how sweaty I was considering that I didn't actually feel uncomfortably hot at any point today. So who's remembered there was a mystery object in the bag? Ooh, what could it be? Present from IB. I'm feeling for the cuboid shape. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's got coke on it where the can's in the bag for recycling. Look, I don't know if any of you have heard of the Osmo Pocket camera. Well, this is a cheaper version. It's like a clone of it. It's a little tiny camera on a gimbal and I won't open it in this video because there will be people out there in the world who are going to be very interested in this product specifically but not watching a full vlog. So I will make a video just about that. Yes. I'm having a sneaky look. I'm so excited. <laughs> if you enjoyed this hot and sweaty heatwave video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, feel free to hit that subscribe button down there and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.